Welcome to Ross Castle in Killarney, Ireland. Ross Castle is a stunning 15th century tower house located on the shores of Loch Leane in County Kerry, surrounded by water and a typical eerie Irish swamp. This historic castle was built by the O'Donoghue clan, but changed ownership several times over the years. It has been beautifully preserved and offers visitors a glimpse into Ireland's rich cultural and architectural heritage. Join me as we take a closer look at this incredible castle and explore its fascinating history and unique futures. The swamp or bog around Ross Castle is actually part of the Killarney National Park, which is a protected area of natural beauty and can be a fascinating and eerie place with a unique atmosphere that evokes both beauty and mystery. The bog has played an important role in Irish history and mythology with stories of ancient rituals, pagan gods and dark deeds. These legends and myths can add to the sense of mystery and intrigue surrounding the bog. Looking at a swamp, one might wonder, how did they move carts? cattle and horses through all this? The answer is, you do what you must, but luckily for them they also had another means to rely on, boats. During medieval times in Ireland, transportation on water was easier than on land for several reasons. For one, Ireland has a long coastline and many rivers, which provided natural waterways for transportation. In addition to that, the road network was poorly developed and many of the existing roads were in poor condition. According to every Irish person I've spoken with, that condition has not changed. By contrast, waterways were often well maintained and provided reliable transportation. As we waited for our tour to commence, we had a chance to peruse the exhibition room where I observed an oddity. All the men depicted in the portraits were shoeless. This piqued my interest. It turns out that in Gaelic culture there is a tradition of barefoot warriors known as Fian, who were said to have been skilled in combat and were renowned for their bravery and agility. The Fian were typically depicted as being dressed in simple clothing and going barefoot, even in cold or wet weather. This was seen as a mark of their toughness and resilience, as well as a way of connecting with the natural world and the spirits of the land. As you can see, the castle is a typical example of an Irish tower house featuring thick walls and narrow windows designed for defense. It was also built with a spiral staircase that runs clockwise, which was a common feature in tower houses of the time and would have made it more difficult for attackers to navigate. During the restoration process, great care was taken to maintain the castle's original character and features. For example, traditional materials and techniques were used in the repair work such as lime mortar with cattle hair for the walls and the original windows and doors were preserved wherever possible. Now, diving back in time a couple of hundred years, cattle were incredibly important to the O'Donoghue clan in medieval Irish society, both as a source of food and wealth. They were used for milk, meat, leather and as a medium of exchange. Owning cattle was a symbol of wealth and status and the number of cattle a person owned was often an indication of their power and influence. The importance of cattle led to frequent conflicts over ownership, which often resulted in raids and battles known as cattle raids. These raids were carried out by the O'Donoghue clan or rival clans seeking to expand their herds or take revenge for previous raids. With this in mind, it becomes immediately apparent that the castle was not constructed for comfort or luxury, but rather with the sole objective of providing protection and ensuring the survival of, in this case, the O'Donoghue clan. However, survival was not only achieved by battle, but also by developing friendly relationships with neighbors and building strong alliances for protection. This room served as a reflection of a clan's wealth, with the finest resources such as wine and furniture meticulously arranged to impress guests and persuade them to support the clan's objectives. If you find yourself attending a meeting in a medieval tower and are enjoying the abundance of food and good spirits, but suddenly need to relieve yourself, what do you do? Of course, visit a medieval castle's restroom. Medieval castles did have toilets, but they were quite different from the modern ones we are used to today. The medieval toilet in the Ross Castle is called a garderobe. Garderobe comes from the French word 
garde, meaning to guard, and robe, meaning clothes. The garde robe was essentially a hole in the wall with a shaft leading down to a cesspit or a moat below. Waste would fall directly into the pit where it would decompose over time. Using a medieval toilet was not always a comfortable or pleasant experience. The lack of proper sanitation meant that the smell could be overwhelming and there was always the risk of falling into the moat below. Now, I wouldn't want to end a video about a mighty castle talking about poop and I thought to myself what would align better with the mysterious spirit of this place than a little story about a legend. The story goes that a woman came to the O'Donoghue clan seeking shelter and assistance, but they turned her away. In anger, she placed a curse on the clan, saying that they would lose their land and wealth and that their castle would sink beneath the waters of Loch Leane, the nearby lake. Despite efforts to break the curse, it seemed to come true. The O'Donoghue clan lost their land and wealth over time and the castle fell into disrepair. Today, Ross Castle still stands on the edge of Loch Leane and it is said that on certain nights, the O'Donoghue clan can be seen riding out of the castle on their horses before disappearing into the waters of the lake. Thank you for watching.